opening my words and my lady to address the issue of disclosure, which is actually being attributed to Mr. Justice Nurima. And sometimes it's good to tell the truth, because the issue of how this bench was empowered has not come to light. It is now. They actually knew of it, and this, and it all should have. They would have found out. The letter which was written this morning, which we have, it was received on the, it was written on the 20th, the 20th of October, has actually one pertinent question disposed whether the file was actually taken to the Chief Justice and at what time. So, they are actually knowing something regarding that, that we are dealing with constitutional functions under Article 165.4, which means they were saying only the Chief Justice can constitute this bench. So they actually knew how the bench was constituted, and that possibly the only reason we should be given is why the fine was taken to ECJ, possibly because of the absence of the Chief Justice. They will have to tell themselves to why we have the Chief Justice being the head of the judiciary and the Deputy Chief Justice being the deputy head of the judiciary. In the absence, that's what the Constitution provides, in the absence of the Chief Justice, it is the Deputy Chief Justice who is supposed to do administrative work, which, and, and here, let's not feel bastard what you are told, that as we do in the Parliament, you go around in circles to waste time so that the motion possibly is defeated by a solution of time, which is what they are trying to do. The truth is this, it is well known in practice that the court's administrative functions can be done at any time of the day, including this bench, can sit up to midnight without anybody, anybody questioning. So the issue when the Chief Justice, Deputy Chief Justice sat, does not arise. 